Hi, folks. This is Chris Voss from the Chris Voss Show. Let's get our mic here. The Chris Voss Show. Com. Coming to you here with another blog post, um, and uh, wanted to talk to you. I had uh, a lot of great calls come in from my uh, uh, listeners. I guess if you will, my blog readers this week, um, and I'm always amazed at how people are so afraid to call me or talk to me or they think I'm too busy for them, um, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> um, and I, you know, I see a lot of other people that sometimes in social media really struggle with dealing with their call volumes and stuff like that. Um, I've always been blessed. I mean, technically I had three core companies we ran for a good 13 years. And we had a lot of stuff on top of that, um, that we, that we delved into. Uh, and I just, you just get used to it. I mean, the one thing I learned was early on, I read a story, and this is before I started my own businesses. It was a story about an Apple executive who actually had one secretary who was devoted to answering his mail. Now, aren't you glad there's email nowadays? But there was one gal who all her job was to do from 9 to 5 was was open the mail that he would get and process it and try and sift through what was really needed or what was really important as opposed to the crap. <laughs> How'd you like to have that job? What do you do all day? I sort mail. Uh, so, uh, I, I always thought that was pretty amazing. And the one thing that people don't realize is they always think that when you become successful, when you make money, that it becomes easier. I don't know what that is with people. It does not become easier. It becomes harder. It becomes more complex. The demands increase tenfold. The more money you make, the harder it is to keep it, the harder it is to fight for it, the more taxes there are. It gets crazy. The more lawsuits you get, I mean, you know, it seems like the bigger you are and the more money you have, the more people want to cut of it. So uh, it, it's never easier. So that's lesson number one here. But the other lesson is, is communication is important in business. And the bigger your company gets, the, the, the more you have to communicate. And that's an important aspect of your business. Now, the one thing I learned from the story of the Apple executive was he said, what I've learned is that when I process through my day, I try and only touch a piece of paper once. Try and only touch a piece of paper once. Because if I touch it more than once, you know, if I put it here, and then I touch it again, put it there, and then I touch it again, put it there, I'm wasting time. I should deal with it at that moment that I'm dealing with it, process it, be done with it. When you really think about that workflow, that infrastructure flow, that's a very important thing to take and do. I try and capture most of my clients' calls, and I, I did this working for myself and my businesses, um, right on the spot as much as I possibly can if I'm not tied up in meetings and all that sort of good stuff. But I try and capture those calls almost right away. The reason being is because you know what it's like nowadays in our voicemail world. You, you, know, you call him, you get his voicemail, he calls you, you get his voicemail. It's just silliness, and it's a complete waste of time. When you really look at how much time you spend not capturing that person's call, it's really hard. At one point in my business, I used to have four uh, phones that were on speaker that could go on the speakerphone and sit on hold. And a lot of times, I'd either be sitting on hold for somebody, or they'd be sitting on hold for me, and I'd have them on speakerphone. I'd be like, "Look, I'm in the room. I will be with you. I'm just going to clear these other two calls, and we'll and we'll do go time." So. It was pretty crazy, and it took a lot of work to be able to maintain those phone lines sometimes. But a lot of times, what was kind of funny is between the people that usually had me on hold, I could process the calls and get through the whole system before most people would double up on me. Um, and that's a real important thing. You know, at one point, I had two executive secretaries under me, and I would still, after hundreds of calls and calls for jobs um, and everything else that I would do for my business, I still would leave with a handful of those pink slips, and on my drive home, I would spend that time calling because the drive home is a waste of time. You might as well do something with it. So I'd make sure and do that. So that by the time I got home, I could, you know, relax in my day. There were some times where I would end up taking a whole mess of calls. Maybe it was a really busy Friday or maybe it was a really busy Monday. I'd take them home. You know what i do? I'd sit in my jacuzzi and I'd make my calls. And <laughs> people would be like, what's that bubble in the back? I'm like, I'm in my jacuzzi making my calls, and I'd be going through my process of pink slips. You know, a lot of people just don't manage their time well, 
And then a lot of people think of it as, oh, I have to return 100 calls today. It's really not that big of a deal. You just chomp them down one at a time like a machine. The great thing about nowadays is most times you just get people's voicemails, so you leave a thing. But the most important thing is to try and grab people's calls. Most of my clients can reach me a lot of times like late in the evening. They can reach me sometimes in the middle of the night. They can reach me sometimes in the early morning. Now, I do have clients all over the world, so you know there's some of the, what I have to deal with in my life is that I have to... I have to uh, be able to do their time. But for the most part, we try and capture our clients' phone calls so that we can deal with their issue immediately. I don't have to process any emails from them because, like, hey, I sent you a call, here's an email, et cetera, et cetera. So the best thing you can possibly do is to try and get on those calls, but also realize there's a lot of calls that come with business. You know, you've heard me mention before how if you're really a professional, you put your phone number on your website so people can call you. reason being is because otherwise they're going to send you 50 trillion emails, and I can get through a call and get it over with probably a lot quicker than I can sitting reading an email most times. Now, is it very convenient and uh, exclusive where I can just sit and pick my nose and sit in a hot tub and, I don't know, answer emails all day? No, but part of what you're doing is you're building relationships with people. I can't figure out if I want to hire you. I can't figure out if I want to use your vendor services. I can't figure out if you should be my client if I can't talk to you directly. And an email is not going to tell me that. So... That's my process for answering phone calls, answering emails. I do the same thing. People people just die at my office when they would see me answering the mail because I'd immediately would sort it, throw a pile of it in the in the uh in the uh in the uh, junk box and uh and I would sort it on the way back from the mailbox. Um you really have to use your time, you know, in the smartest way. I throw away all the junk and anything that looks like junk and keep all the good stuff. People be like, wow, Chris, you just go right to it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have time to waste on this stuff. So I don't need to hold it. I don't need to cuddle it. I don't need to have a relationship with it. Junk mail, boom. Junk calls, boom. So rock and roll. I'm even, if you call me, and sometimes if you're deeba 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 stupid on the phone, unless you're a client or potential client, uh, and you want something from me, I'm probably going to be real short and sweet with you and go, look, let's get to the point. What do you want? Rock and roll. Can I help you? Can I? What do we need to do? So, um, and that's for your benefit too, because I don't want to waste your time. You know, you need to find stuff to do better with your time. Somebody called me the other night and was like, wanted me to, um, in essence, in some way, invest in a small project that they had. And I said, look, I don't do that sort of venue, but, you know, Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get on the phone with me and get on the phone so you can get the people that you need to get. And they're like, well, I want to talk to you some more. I'm like, no, no, no. You need to get the certain target by a certain hour. You need to get off the phone with me. You need to make it happen. So for me, it's about saving both your and my time. And think of those processes. Don't touch paper twice. Don't touch phone messages twice. And also realize that if you got a lot of calls and you got a lot of emails, you got to rock and roll. One of the recent companies I had in the post, uh, last two years, the revenue streams that I had, I was getting close to 300 emails a day. 300 emails a day, largely from the hours between 9 to 5. Um, that's an, a lot of shit to process. And so I just sit there with my laptop, sometimes in my hot tub, going, okay, how do we get through this? Rock and roll. And you just learn to answer and get direct with people. So uh, be prepared for that when you get successful in business. And don't knock it because you know what? i got to tell you, Having to return 100 phone calls a day, you're probably making some decent amount of money. Um, and it's a whole lot better than having no phone calls to return a day because usually at that point, you're probably not making any money. Thanks for coming by the ChrisVosshow.com. Check back daily or I'll come to your home. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.